Hello everyone, let's learn how you can make a custom view. What is the meaning of custom view? Actually, you want to create a different, different report for different, different designated person. But at the same time, you don't want all the information need to be shown to each one of them, right? So generally, here I am having the data. What I am going to do, the whole data I want need to be seen or getting ready for printout to my sales manager. But at the same time, I don't want whole data is getting ready for printout for my sales manager who does only taking care about the Bellino, right? Let's get started. But always remember your workbook should have one table to use this custom view function, right? So let us uh, do a setting, prior setting, what you want to do. Take an example how it will be looking like you have done the setting. At the same time, you can do a printout setting. Let us do it. Control P. And here I want, instead of landscape, I want it should be like a portrait or, okay, landscape. But at the same time, I wanted to change little bit. Take an example. Yes, I have already ticked this one. Fit to. And you can increase the size also. Right? And hit OK. So you want this view or is uh, getting printed in that way. And it is, uh, you can see in that way. For doing so, what you need to do after you have done this one, then you need to go to the view custom view and here you need to add and you need to give a name take an example sales manager right and okay here you can say print setting and hidden rows right okay but at the same time you don't want this balino sales manager see all the details so what do you need to do you can select all this and right click and hide it right let us go to the print preview and do the and change the settings for the same control p but you want this one to portrait orientations at the same time i wanted to scale it so instead of 100 percent let me do it 200 percent and hit ok right then go back and whatever the view we just set it we can save it like custom view add and we can give a name right for for this i have given a name that is Balino. then hit okay always remember whatever the data you wanted to hide always you should make top to bottom top to bottom means the people what they wanted to see right in that sequence you need to organize your data so let let me show what has happened if i go to the custom view and click over your sales manager and show it it show all the data at the same time if i go to the print preview command i can see whatever the or the way i have set i am getting the data in that way right let me show you what is happening if i click on grid view custom views and click on automatically it will select like just because tools are there the excel is knowing already it is on sales manager so you need you wanted to click on Bellino. so just click over here so see the data has been changed again if you go to the print preview so the data whatever you said it is in that same format it is very helpful generally if you are creating a reports for multiple people right multiple peoples are there in your organization and you wanted to create a reports for them and you wanted to get it ready to print out so you can use this one custom views by organizing your data in such a nice way so, like hiding the any columns any rows any data or maybe you change few settings for printout and you can give a name in that way it is very helpful and it will help you in office a lot thank you very much please like and subscribe for more videos like this